Psalm chapter 44 Prayer for God's deliverance For the leader, by the descendants of Korik, a mascal. God, we heard it with our ears, our fathers told us about it, a deed which you did in their days, back in days of old. With your hand you drove out nations to plant them in the land, you crushed peoples to make room for them. For not by their own swords did they conquer the land, nor did their own arm give them victory. Rather, it was your right hand, your arm and the light of your face, because you favored them. God, you are my king. Command complete victory for Yaakov. Through you we pushed away our foes, through your name we trampled down our assailants. For I don't rely on my bow, nor can my sword give me victory. No, you saved us from our adversaries, you put to shame those who hate us. We will boast in our God all day and give thanks to your name forever, Seller. Yet now you have thrust us aside and disgraced us, you don't march out with our armies. You make us retreat from the adversary, and those who hate us plunder us at will. You have handed us over like sheep to be eaten and scattered us among the nations. You sell your people for a pittance, you don't even profit on the sale. You make us an object for our neighbors to mock, one of scorn and derision to those around us. You make us a byword among the nations, the peoples jeer at us, shaking their heads. All day long my disgrace is on my mind, and shame has covered my face. At the sound of those who revile and insult, at the sight of the enemy bent on revenge. Though all this came on us, we did not forget you, we have not been false to your covenant. Our hearts have not turned back, and our steps did not turn away from your path. Though you pressed us into a lair of jackals and covered us with death dark gloom. If we had forgotten the name of our God or spread out our hands to a foreign God. Wouldn't God have discovered this, since he knows the secrets of the heart? For your sake we are put to death all day long we are considered sheep to be slaughtered. Wake up, Adonai. Why are you asleep? Rouse yourself. Don't thrust us off forever. Why are you turning your face away, forgetting our pain and misery? For we are lying flat in the dust, our bodies cling to the ground. Get up, and come to help us. For the sake of your grace, redeem us.